Yesterday, an officer went down a slide and got far more than he bargained for. That was the wildest ride of his life, I imagine. The video went viral, I'm sure a lot of you have seen it, but there's a lot to unpack here. The officer wasn't injured or anything, just minor boo-boos as I understand it, but this video is just a masterpiece. The sound of him coming through the slide is like something you'd hear out of Looney Tunes. It sounds like 15 potatoes being fucking thrown down a steel chimney. And then he just rockets out of this slide like a bowling ball getting pushed back into like the holding receptacle. Like, he like, I don't know how he even reached this velocity. He's like damn near traveling at terminal velocity here. And he comes out backwards and blasting all side to side here. The whole thing went cattywampus. I, I just couldn't understand how this was even possible. I had so many questions and so few answers. Like, how did this situation even arise? Was he doing this on purpose or did he accidentally fall victim to this super slide? Like, was he chasing a perpetrator around here and then lost him in the tunnel at some point? What, like, who was he hunting down? Was he after, like, the Powerpuff Girls or some shit? Like, I, I, I had so many questions. But let me go ahead and throw this replay back up on the Jumbotron real quick. I just don't even understand how this is possible. What went awry inside of the tunnel? It's not like sliding is a skill that you have to develop. It's, it's gravity. You, like, you just sit down in the slide and gravity takes the steering wheel and takes you for a, a bit of a ride. Like, I don't know what went wrong. It turned around in the slide like a fetus inside of its mother's belly. How does that happen? And where did the speed come from? Like, where, is there like a jet engine in there that, like, really accelerated him? Because he shoots out. Like a bar of soap in the shower when you squeeze it real hard and it fl fucking flies out straight up. Like, it, all of it is so baffling to me. So I had to do a bit of digging here because I, I wanted to figure out what the situation even was. So I, I watched the news report on it. Asked Michelle Wu about the incident as questions about the appropriateness of the officer's action come into question. I like how they frame this like it's a controversy or something. Like a debate that needs to be had about the appropriateness of his actions. He, he went down the slide poorly. <laughs> What's inappropriate about that? A man was taking the slide for a test drive and ended up getting his shit fucked. Like, what do you mean? What, what is the- what appropriateness? Is he gonna get disciplined by the sergeant? I mean, actually, I can kind of, like, see an argument for that. Like, brother, you can't even slide properly. We're, we're going- we're- we need your badge and your gun. <laughs> you're not fit for duty. We're, we're gonna need to send you back to training or something. If you're having a, pro a problem on the slide, we've gotta- we gotta go back to the drawing board for a moment here, son. It appears a Boston police officer got a faster ride than he bargained for when he tried out the slide at City Hall Plaza. <laughs> this video showing the officer tumbling out of the slide in his uniform has gone viral on social media sites. It also got millions of views on TikTok. I love that they replay this clip like 20 times with different levels of slow-mo. I can just feel the giggles that the production team was having during this segment here. And I, you know, I can't help but feel the tears from the officer having to watch this back so many times in shame. Now, I was just going over the physics in my head, running a little mental simulation using the scientific method, of course, to make heads or tails out of how this was even possible. When I first watched the video, I couldn't believe a world where he meant to go down that slide. I thought he must have, like, stumbled into it or something, chasing a criminal. I don't know why there'd be a criminal you know, trying to escape at the playground next to the slide or whatever. But it was the only thing I could make sense of, like chasing the fucking Hamburglar around here and then he loses his footing or the Hamburglar pushes him down the slide and that's how he ends up so chaotically exiting the slide here and so painfully. But after really thinking it over for a moment and employing all of the latest and greatest in physics uh, theories that we've come up with over the last hundred years, I've deduced that what must have happened is that he was covered in baby oil, or butter perhaps, something, I don't know. And when he got that first little bit of speed, he hit the first corner and turned upside down and ended up on his belly and then started slapping the sides of this steel contraption like a bundle of clothes in a washing machine. Now obviously I don't really think he was covered in baby oil or anything like that, but his uniform must be so silky smooth that it gathered speed instantaneously which caused him to hit that first corner and flip. But the thing is, he hit that shit, went belly down, and he could not recover. So then he just ragdolls out.
include this slide. Signage for the park indicates it's designed for kids ages 2 to 12. I don't know exactly what the circumstances were or, or um, what happened, but I will definitely check in and make sure that uh, the officer is okay if it looks like we need to make sure that there's more uh, signage that this is for children or, or something, we, we can do that too. Oh my god, the embarrassment would be overwhelming. If this was me, I would not want to be the guy that caused them to implement 50 more signs that say, Adults beware, do not go on this slide. I would be actively shutting that shit down and be like, No, don't you dare put up another sign, don't you fucking dare. I'm going to prove that this slide is compatible with adults too. And I would ride that slide every goddamn day until I've got it perfect. Even though, again, I don't think riding a slide is a skill. It's it, it just happens because of gravity. I I don't know how the I don't even know how the fuck it's possible that he ended up traveling like 88 miles per hour down this slide, nearly traveling back in time like Doc Brown. I don't get it. Like even in the clips here, when you see the kids going down it, like they have normal slide speed. They're not even coming out that fast. It, whereas like if an adult goes down a child slide, in most circumstances, they come out a little bit faster, but never like this. Never turbo speed. This officer got in the tunnel and just hit the NOS button. He just let that shit rip. It is still baffling just <laughs> how fast he came out of that goddamn tunnel like he was leaving a wormhole. I, I don't know how it happened, but I am so thankful that it did. It's such an incredible, incredible clip that we were blessed with on this day. I, I hope he's taking it in good spirits, like hopefully he's not, you know, shaking his fist all upset at the slide and lobbying to get it taken down or anything. You know, learn to slide better, it's a fucking skill issue. We also asked Boston police about the video. The department says the officer was hurt, used his personal insurance for care, and did not charge the city. Everything has a chance to be viral these days. Not wrong, everything does have a chance to go viral these days, and that chance is greatly improved when it's a situation like this with a tumble like that. Again, you're not gonna see a slide tumble to that extreme very often. Usually in cases where a slide has like a big wipeout or something, it's actually the slide's fault. We talked about this about a year ago. There was a slide that was designed where it was so poorly done that the first angle was too sharp. So what would happen is a lot of riders would hit the first hump and it was like an open air slide and when they hit that first hump it would just shoot them up they just like fucking fly off and hurt themselves that's the slide designer's fault that's not the writer's fault it's a poorly made slide and another one we covered was a slide where you're in like a sack and you're going down like an extreme roller way of a slide and there's a cage above it and it's i just hit the mic and i know that sounded like a goddamn earthquake sorry for that there's this cage above it and it's a steel cage. So what happens is you gather a lot of speed and the steel cage is above you. So when you hit your first little jump, you hit into the cage. So very easily you could lose a finger, a appendage, break your arm, break all your bones because you get shot into a steel cheese grater, basically. And that's not the rider's fault. Again, that's a poorly designed slide. But in this case, the slide seems like it's designed fine. It doesn't seem like it's dangerous or poorly constructed or anything like that. I don't know if there's like exposed steel in there that's cutting riders or anything, or if there's some kind of, you know, booster mechanism in there for a speed enhancement that the officer and only the officer unlocked. I, I, I don't think so. The slide seems fine. This really is the case of an officer having some kind of crazy malfunction while using the slide. So yeah, it's just a wacky video. I just wanted to talk about it because I've been giggling about it for a while. That's really about it. See ya.